So the next thing I want to take a look at here dealing with charts is doing a little bit of formatting. I want to change colors. The default colors that you get out of your chart, they're great, but they're just the default colors. So I want to add a little bit of spice to this chart, really start to draw attention. Maybe rather than this big orange bar, I want a nice big red bar. This gray, kind of muted gray, let's turn that green. Let's change some formatting options here. So just like everything else that you do with the chart, the first thing you need to do is select the chart. So I'll select the chart. Up above, I get my design and format tab. Now I pointed out earlier that on the design tab, you do get some chart styles. And these are just some canned formatting. If I just hover my mouse over the top of them, you'll see what it does to my chart there in the background. There's some pretty neat ones. I like these dark ones, kind of glows, kind of a neon bar now. Ooh, that was a nice one. These are just canned, out of the box. You're in a pinch. You need to hurry up and create a chart and format it. You got styles that you can pick from. And there's some neat ones there. But if you want to get into the nitty gritty and really start to format it on your own, I'll go over to the Format tab. On the Format tab, you got all your formatting options. We were talking about formatting shapes earlier. A lot of this stuff is the same, same options. So let's see. I want to change the big orange one. I want to make it some form of red. So I'll select the big orange one, orange bar here. And notice that not only did the one data point in the series get selected, but all of them did. These are the credit card values. So with that selected, I'll go up to Format. I'm going to go into Shape Styles. And I'm going to change the Shape Fill. Let's go for this kind of darker red color. I like that. This gray, mm, it's kind of muted. Let's grab that, go back to shape fill, and I'm gonna make it green. There we go. Pops it a little bit more, a little more presentable, not as muted as a color, but it's, it's a choice, right? It's a preference. The idea here is that you can format the chart. Let's try some more here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab the chart grid, this kind of background here of my chart. And I want to make some changes to it. Well, once again, I'll go up to my Format tab. I've got my Shape Styles. Let's try adding a background to that. I'm going to make this kind of a gray color. I don't like just the full on white, but you know what? That's maybe perhaps a little bit too gray. Let's lighten that up a little bit. So now it's not as strong as a contrast against a white background, but I've kind of muted it down a little bit just to give it a subtle, subtle gray background. Let's see. Let's try something else out here with formatting. Uh, if I want to change the legend, right now my legend's pretty small. I want to increase the font size here. So if I click on my legend, I do have some word art styles here where I can change colors. But I want to change the font size and perhaps make them bold. Do you remember where we found those options earlier? They're on the Home tab. I go to Home and I got my font commands right there. So I'll bump up the size. Let's go to like 12 and let's make them bold. Get that legend to really stand out. And you know what? Let's make it, it's kind of competing with my title now. Let's make the title even bigger. Let's go 20 and I'll make that bold. Right? Looking pretty good. Okay? I can do the same thing with my numbers down below. I can select my axis, my Y or my X axis, and I can format those as well. Let's make my months. Let's make those bold. Uh, let's grab the numbers here. Maybe I'll make those bold. Right? Just formatting this chart, making it more presentable. Okay? Whether you're using the design tab with styles, you're just again in a pinch, you need to hurry up and format it. You got the canned styles you can use. Or you can go to your format tab and to your heart's content, you can format this thing any way that you want. Try this out. Format your chart. Again, don't get too wacky with it. You don't want to start distracting from a simple little message, but any way to enhance the message, format it. Get the audience, get their attention, draw them in, format it in such a way that it will make it more exciting and more presentable. Try it out.